Hello you guys, this is Miss Felicia Inspire. We are back again with another tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing a mushroom quick weave pixie. Stay tuned. So I've already scratched out my tracks. Right here I'm going to begin gluing down my tracks. I am using the Velvet Tara 246 and I'm using two boxes. Right here you can tell that the hair is scratched out and all I did is use my flat iron to do that. And this is something that I always do. It helps me to be able to do the job a lot quicker when I do it this way. So you can try this as well. And even as I'm doing this, um, you can see that I'm not laying the tracks close together at all. And this helps the quick weave to be flat. So this is something that you can try as well. And it will help you in the long run and for this style it typically takes me no more than 30 minutes but yeah just put your sideburns on and this is your two inch okay yes it is going to take you around two boxes to do this so when you do this you're going to do two inch and then move to your four inch and then move to your six inch so as a rule of thumb, just go ahead and flat iron the pieces because it's not going to give you a lot of pieces in the box. But I do love this hair. I've been using this hair for a while now. But you can purchase this hair online or you can get it at your local beauty supply store. I always get it locally and it'll run you around $25 a box depending on where you get it from. And as you can see in the back, I have some on the shelf. But um, I will link all of the information for that in the, in the description box so that you can check this hair out. Don't forget to remove any strings or thread that may be in the hair. When they make the hair, they use these strings and it's really, really tacky. If you leave them in, it'll make a mess up an entire weave. Like I always make sure that my weaves are clean. I always make sure that there's no glue because sometimes like there be like little glue on the ends but you can always go and clean that up later but now I'm continuing to lay down my two inch tracks and all I did was go from side to side side to side and this is what you're going to be doing all the way up until you run out of your hair because like I said before they are not going to give you a lot so you have to be mindful when you're laying these tracks okay so also when I did this I didn't double my tracks on the on the two inch but when I start using my four inch then I will double as you can see right here I am doubling the tracks and this is going to help you move a lot faster as a stylist like it's going to be very benef beneficial because you won't have to worry about um, the timing, okay? Y'all know that in this industry, time is everything and you don't want your client having to sit with you all day long. So like I said, typically this style only takes me about 30 minutes. So even though we're doing a mushroom hairstyle, be reminded that this is not the only way that you can do this style there's many different ways that you can do this but if you want to be able to do it quick and you want to be able to get your clients in and out this is a pronto service that you can offer to your clients or you can try this on yourself if you want to just get a classy little look and don't want to have to spend a whole lot of time this is a good direction for you to go Right now, I'm going to go ahead and begin shaving this hair down. And what I did with this, I went ahead and uh, put my six inch in. So I'm using my razor comb and you can get this from your local beauty supply store or you can get it off a line, okay? This will not only cost you, but like three or $4, like literally. But you want to make sure that you have um, disposable blades to go along with it. And I'm going to do this in real time because I want you guys to really see the cutting that I'm doing. I know a lot of people have trouble and they're kind of scared to cut the hair. But I'm slowing this down for you guys because this is very, very important. 
even though you lay the tracks, I tell anybody the importance of it is really the cut. Right here, I'm cutting out another thread that they left in the hair while they were making it and sewing the wefts. So yeah, make sure around the nape of the neck and around the edges is cut down really, really nice. This is going to be very essential when you're doing this because you don't want to have a really, really thick hairline and, and all of that. It makes it look a lot more natural whenever you have a thin hairline. Whenever I get my Darko razor blades, I get them off of Amazon and I get a box of 2000 blades. You will probably run through like mm, three or four blades when you're doing a quick weave. And if you are using, using this razor comb, because they do have other ones as well. But for me, I like to have a fresh, fresh razor blade. And I will show you in a future video, me using the other um, razor comb that they offer on the market as well. But this is my all time favorite. I get it out of my local beauty supply store and I use this for a lot of my cuts, nearly all of my cuts to be honest, because it does an awesome job and it don't, and it's cost effective. But like I said, if you need disposable blades, go to Amazon and purchase. Okay, so while you are razoring down, make sure you are careful around your client's ears. You don't want to cut anybody or scratch anybody with your razor. And you can see the quick weave is already taking shape of how I want it to lay. And you can take your time and do this. You don't want to gash out any of your tracks because if you don't pay attention and you're going too fast, you will expose your tracks because remember you didn't lay your tracks as close. So I changed another blade just now. <laughs> That's what I was doing. So yeah, continue to shave this hair down. Take your time, you guys. I know this is not an overnight process. Those of you who are practicing or either trying to learn, this is something that will not come overnight. Just take your time and do it light-handedly. Like, you don't have to dig into it because if you're using fresh blades, it's gonna cut through the hair in a way. So also for any of your clients who may have an eye piercing, I do notice that when you have a client who have an eye piercing, if you don't be careful, like you will literally like gash or either like cut them or like hit their, um, their eye piercing. So be careful with that as well and keep that in mind. So go ahead to the other side, continue around the head and trim down this hair, move their ears if you need to. And I'm going to tell you like, Whenever you're doing a client, a client can sense when you know what you're doing. Like a lot of my clients tell me, they be like, like when I have a first time client, they'll always be like, you know, I know, I know you know exactly what you're doing. Cause I can tell like your clients know when you're practicing, they know when you're confident. So that's another thing that, that you should think about as well. So continue to practice this. It will be very, very, very beneficial. Like, listen, when I tell you. I do this hairstyle like five, six times back to back and it's easy, quick money. So yeah, try it. Right now I'm going to begin cutting the ends and lining everything up to where I want it to be. This is how you're going to clean up your layers in the quick weave and give it a custom look as though if you did a custom quick weave. So yeah, get your comb and pull the hair out at a 90 degree. Pull it out from the head and if you want more layers, you can over direct the hair a little bit more to get those layers that you want. So yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing all the way around the head. And this is how you're going to get the layered look, feathered look. This is how you do it. Don't forget that if you are liking the content that I am showing to you, go and subscribe to my YouTube channel, like, comment, and share this video. You can utilize the comment section because I would love to hear from you guys. Your feedback is very important to me. I would love to know what future videos you guys would like for me to bring to you. I would love to hear anything of that sort. You can email me as well if you like. So yeah, continue to 
trim up the hair the way you want to and you will see the ends that are sticking out the most like it's going to be very very obvious whenever you pull out the hair and be careful when you're going around the um, bang area as well you don't want to cut it too short now I'm spraying my all-time favorite essations on the hair use your wire to comb to kind of comb the hair in place where you want it to lay and this is all I do you guys like y'all see I didn't do any curling I didn't do anything like that and I have a full quick weave mushroom cut and if you didn't know any better you think I went through the whole shebang just to get this look and I didn't like this is the pronto version and be careful again you guys if your clients have a piercing be careful around their eye area their eyebrow area trim down around the temple area because like I notice when you don't it the hair will flip if you don't so now I'm going to use my Andes T outliners to edge up this hair you guys I cannot when I say I cannot I cannot explain to you how awesome these trimmers are like when it comes to this weave you have to make sure you got that good stuff you heard me like i always use the t outliners because like they're heavy duty and if you've been using weave or been doing weave for a while you know weave will dole out your blades like with a quickness like they'll dole them out but i don't really have that problem with the t outliners like I said in my other video, I tried the peanuts. I don't really like the peanut iron. I mean, um, trimmers because like they don't like they feel like you playing with a toy or something. <laughs> I don't even know if that makes sense. Like, so when I use the T outliners, like they really, really get the job done. And as you can see, like it's just amazing the way these trimmers cut and these blades are modified. And it's going to cut a little bit better than your regular blade straight out of the box so yeah this is what I did and be careful careful around those ears okay so yeah this is all I did just take your time and edge this up and this is what I think makes the cut look as clean as it do like when you put that edge up on there it really makes the style now when you're doing these sideburns don't have your sideburns all thick and stuff you know what i'm saying like i just don't like when the sideburns are really really thick like you don't want to have sideburns all the way down down the side of their face and everything like that so just give it a little natural look you know clean up anything that needs to be cleaned up listen look at this hairline y'all like i i just can't like i can't even whip myself sometimes so yeah, just um continue to do whatever it is you need to do. Finish doing your cleanup and your lineup work. And you can get these tea outliners from any any store, beauty supply store, or you can get them offline. If you have a professional license, you can get them for a cheaper price. Okay. Or either you can get them off Amazon or you can get them out of your local beauty supply store. Be in my be mindful that it will be a little more expensive. And then just trim up the rest of it with your scissors okay so this is your finished look it's very beautiful she loves her hair okay so spray it down and i'm using my favorite bed head hard head to kind of kill some of the frizz you can go in and use some foam wrap lotion if you want to but you you're not really gonna need it okay and this is the finished look you guys thank you so much for watching